Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Alex from Simple Mods and welcome back to another video. I've just finished my new CTO West Tower 27 case mod. It is a Watch Dogs 2 themed build in the Thermaltake View 27 case. And I just want to give you guys a bit of a closer look at it, show you all the case mods I did to it and talk a little bit more about the build. So let's check it out. All right guys, so here we go. This is my CTO West Tower 27 build. It is a Watch Dogs 2 themed uh, case mod in the Thermaltake View 27 case. Now, the reason I went uh, with the Watch Dogs 2 themed, a lot of people have asked me that on social media, is mainly I've had this idea of using this um, really nice sticker bomb vinyl. I guess if you're a skater or something, you'd be familiar with something like this. And then I saw the Watch Dogs 2 Return of Dead Sex Special Edition box set. I'll put an image of it on the screen right now so you guys can see. And then I was thinking like, why not use the sticker bomb idea that I had and implement that into a Watch Dogs 2 theme. And I think it's turned out really nice. So first of all, I just want to go over the main mods that I've done on the outside of the case. And then I can talk to you guys a little bit about the specs and most of the mods that I did on the inside. So um, the first thing you'll see right off the bat is this cutout here. And then I've had a piece of acrylic that just goes over it. So that's a piece of clear acrylic with a bit of the um, sticker vinyl over it. And then I've just done this cutout here. And the main reason I did that is because underneath there, I uh, did a cutout in the case originally um, on the power supply shroud on the inside. And then I have another piece of opal acrylic that covers that with um, vinyl cutout and that has the Watch Dogs logo there. And then um, when putting the side panel on, you wouldn't be able to see that. So I did another cutout into the side panel and then just to clean it up a bit, give it a bit more contrast, I covered it with this piece of acrylic here. And now that Watch Dogs 2 sign that you see there is also fully RGB controllable. So I have an LED strip just behind it. Um, maybe if I turn off the light, you guys can see it better. Here we go. Full RGB. Oh yeah, mainly just keep it on white. Um, other than that, you will see that I painted the side vent here, just a bit of mesh that was on the inside. I painted that white and then put that back on. Then moving on to the front panel, I did the Watch Dogs 2 skull. And then you will see that I did a Watch Dogs bandana here. Um, that's just attached to the side, just with some zip ties on the side here. And that's the way that gets held into place. And then at the top here, you can just see this plate. Again, it's a piece of acrylic that's uh, been covered with the sticker bomb vinyl. And then I've done this dead sec sign over it. We've got a bit of uh, the little Watch Dogs logo just there. And the main reason I did this is usually with my case mods, I don't like to add any extra cables. So I don't uh, usually use the front panel connectors. So what I've done is I've removed everything else. There's just one cable that's just, and that's just the power button that goes through and connects to the motherboard. All the other cables have been removed. And you can see the RGB fans shining through that. Maybe if I turn off the light a little bit, I'll be able to see them a bit better. So there you go. Moving on to the back panel, you'll see that I did the same thing here with the vent painted that white. And then the full back panel um, has been covered with the sticker bomb vinyl. I have the return of dead sick sign here. And then I actually did windows for the SSDs. The SSDs have been customized as well put a piece of acrylic over them and then customize that with the same sticker bomb vinyl and then just with the HyperX Savage branding over them. So I did that window cut out here just in order to showcase that. And then at the bottom, I did the same thing to a Seagate Fire Cuda hard drive. That also features a custom uh, panel uh, from acrylic that's been stuck to it as well. So nothing too fancy. Um, it's all been done with acrylic and vinyl and then everything else that you see all of the vinyl work and everything that's been designed by me and then cut by me in-house i have my own vinyl plotter and i usually buy all of my vinyl from ebay and then all the acrylic that i get i just get that from local sign shops now just at the top on the main section of the case here um, i have another piece of acrylic just here and then i have all the sponsor logos at the top and then for that i have thermal take asus m wave seagate avexir hyperx and cable mod so let me just take off the side panel of the case and then I'll show you guys a good look on the inside. All right, there we go. So we have the side panel off. Now in terms of the specs, now I mentioned before it is the Thermaltake V27 case and I have actually done an unboxing and overview video of this. So I'll put that in the description. Uh, for the motherboard, I have the Sabertooth Z170S from Asus and that's rocking a 6700K CPU. It has 16 gigs of Avexia Core, green LED um, RAM. I believe it does running at 2400 megahertz um, DDR4. And then there's a Founders GTX 1070 graphics card. 
And on the back, those two SSDs that I showed you guys before, they are 120 gigs each and they are running in RAID 0. And then it has the two terabyte Seagate Fire Cuda hard drive at the bottom. All that's running off a thermal take, tough power, DPSG RGB 650 watt gold rated power supply. And then I'm using thermal take ring plus RGB fans throughout. So there's one at the back just here and then the three on the front on the radiator. I'm using cable mod cables and then everything is um, thermal take water cooling. So the CPU block, that's the W3. I am using their RGB LED fitting. So they have incorporated LEDs inside the fittings. That's why the tube shines like that. So you can actually change that, but because I have it set to white and then with the green coolant, then that works out well. Don't actually need to change that at all. And then on the inside of the case, I don't actually have any LEDs. It's just the tubes and then the light from the fans and a little light from the graphics guide. And then of course, the Watch Dogs logo in the bottom. Um, in terms of the mods that I did on the inside, with the sticker bomb vinyl idea that I had and the DeadSec special edition version of the Watch Dogs 2 game, I thought that the Asus Sabertooth Z170S motherboard will work really well with the digital camo that it has on it. And I also sort of did the same sort of pixelated digital camo like art um, around the Watch Dogs sign at the bottom there. So I did that using my um, vinyl plotter and then just stuck over the sticker bomb vinyl over that. Now what I have is just on the back here, I have a cover panel there, just with a bit of cutouts for the cables to pop out for the SATA, 24 pin. And then there is also a cover here that covers the entire section of the bottom. The pump just rests on that and then it is connected um, with this UN120 bracket here. And then it just has a reservoir holder there that just holds it into place. There's a little hole there, um, just for the 8-pin GPU cable and then there's actually no holes behind or anything like that. I've covered everything there and the motherboard connectors are actually coming through from underneath the motherboard and then they plug in at the bottom there. And then there is uh, just a thermal take ribbon cable to give power to the graphics card. So yeah, that's pretty much the main idea with this mod. Um, I didn't really do major changes to the case or anything like that. I've just added a few cover panels, done a bit of vinyl work, did a cut on the bottom there cut out on the side panel that I showed you guys before and then mainly just done all through um, various finals and then of course the watchdogs mask just on there so yeah and then I didn't choose to water cool the graphics card mainly because I love the look of the GTX 1070 um, mainly any of the founders edition cards actually I actually love I love the look of it and then I actually thought that it blends in really well with this team. I do have a water block from Thermal Deck for that graphics card, but I choose to um, leave it as is. So for the water cooling loop, it's just very simple. Um, there's a tube just behind there with some fittings. Um, there's two 90 degree fittings behind there. 90 degree bend goes to the CPU, comes out, goes into the radiator, which is plenty of radiator surface. It's a 60 mil thick, 360 millimeter radiator just for the CPU. So then from there, it goes back down into the pump and then circulates that way. So very easy, nice and simple build. I think it turned out really well, so I'm super happy with this one. I love this um, sticker bomb vinyl that I used. I should probably actually try and use it in other builds, see if I can incorporate it into other teams or anything like that. Um, one of the uh, more interesting mods um, that I found that people enjoyed uh, viewing on social media is actually all of the details that I did to the motherboard. So I've actually covered most of the bits on motherboard that were um, showing the, the sort of tough branding I actually used. The sticker bomb vinyl, you can see a little bit of it up here. And then I just covered that uh, with the green vinyl on top, just to sort of incorporate more of the theme. And then all the capacitors on the board, I've actually cut little um, circles of the, from the green vinyl and then covered all those. A lot of people actually love the look of it. They thought it's a really cool idea um, when I showed this on social media on my page. I've actually seen some other models doing this, so it's definitely not an original idea, but it is something very simple to do and it does give out a nice result. And then other than that, what I did is the DeadSec logo here, that's another artwork that I found from Watch Dogs Online. Um, it's actually like an eye sort of thing. Thought it was really cool. I have the Bloom logo that covers the reservoir. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys in terms of this mod, nothing too fancy, just some acrylic cover panels, some vinyl work throughout and just an overall clean, nice looking build. So it's definitely very easy to achieve if some of you are looking at doing something similar. All of the acrylic panels again are stuck using double sided tape, so nothing too fancy there. I've shown on my channel a bunch of times how I cut my acrylic panels. I just score them, snap them, and then if there's any other in more intricate cuts, then I do use um, either my jigsaw or my Dremel rotary tool. And if you don't have a final plotter at home, but you want to do some custom stickers or something like that for your case, then you can definitely perhaps design 
um, everything yourself at home and you can go to like a local shopping center or a mall or something like that and you can actually find people that will be able to cut your vinyl for you. Usually um, places that do the t-shirt printing or any of those other places will be able to sort of help you out um, in terms of cutting you um, some custom vinyls and they'll give you um, the transfer paper and everything they need to apply it so it'll be very easy to achieve even if you don't have your own vinyl plotter and you want to do a similar mod not exactly like this but incorporate different things um, that I've shown in this video into your own build and then make it look more fancy but yeah that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you learned a little bit more about this build and if you do enjoy my content um, let me know what you think of the build let me know what you think of the video quality in the comments below give it a thumbs up and if you enjoy my content then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one